Banshee with Race Against Time. This is for my buddy Eric, who said he's back for the attack, meaning back to the CBT lessons. Always a treat, Eric, because you always, you always have interesting stuff coming my way, man. Um, I don't remember the song. You know, I remember the name. Um, tuning on this is flat and uh, new key and glossary, man. I hope you dig it. Um, so you wanted 19 seconds to a minute 26. Really cool stuff, man. Some cool riffs. Starting at 19 seconds, we've got the 14th fret low E string slide into this. Open E, 4A. You're going to hammer onto an F sharp 5 power chord, which is 2E. And then palm mute 2 4 on the E. So it's bar the tw uh, second fret D and G. And then fourth fret A and D. So you have. And then open E to 2 4 E A. You'll hear, uh, you may not hear because it's a fast run, but there's like a some uh, down up string mutes, basically top three strings, don't overthink that. Uh, bar the second fret D and G. This is kind of a tough part right here. Um, hammer to four, and then strum it, but bend them both a half step. So you really need to support it with some back fingers. And push into the neck and up or down. You can bend it down as well. But t what may happen, that G may slip out from underneath your fingers, so that's why I want you to dig into it. And then stop it, don't release it, don't go, go. And come back, and uh, 4 DG, pull to 2, and then do it again without the pull off. Okay, you'll see double dots, so you're going to repeat it. Up to there, no star, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go... Open E, 2, 4, E, A, palm mute open E. To 2, D, 1, G, and 2, D, 3, G. So that second one is, or, and then back to the first one. And then the ending starts the same way. Till you get to the 4, A, D, and it changes, you'll go, um, this would be the little end piece. So the 2DG, like I said, to 4AD, two open E's palm muted to an E5 power chord. Let's just your open 2EA. Rest, pinch harmonic 2G, vibrato. If you can't get the pinch, Eric, don't sweat it. Those are just icings. If you can, cool. If not, it's cool. The main thing is try to get this rhythm solid where you can play along with them. Kind of a tough rhythm though. Okay, um, section two comes in at 30 seconds in. Starts the same way. You'll go until you get to the 2DG and you're gonna rest there. So it's 4A to 4DG. So it's start it over. But this time, when you get to the 2DG, take your thumb, I think this works the best, um, to the 2E and then 4DG. So that second, well, let me do all of that. Two DG, and you could bar it. You can experiment, but I did write down this way: uh, two two to two one to two two. It's and then back to the first one, I believe. Now on that one, it's the same as the first part of section two. But he's vibratoing the chord once again. That's an icing thing. If you can't get it, if, you know, it's kind of tough to vibrato for some people on one string, so try doing a chord sometimes, you know. Work towards it, back it with fingers. Okay, and then um, start it over and go. And this time, when you, um, palm mute, palm mute, 2, 4, E, 2, D, G, hammer onto the 4s, open 2, E, A. So it's an E5 power chord. And then back to that second fret G string pinch harmonic vibrato.
so the ending is. Okay. You'll see double dots. Second time, no star, which was the last uh, where you go. Instead of doing that, in place of that, go 2 4, which is our F sharp 5 power chord, E and A. Uh, if you think about what comes before it, you're set up for it because you're going open E, 4A, hammer onto the 2E, and strum it twice. You're, you're re ready to go right there. Open 2 and on the E and A string to our E5. So it's. Okay. Top of page 3. It's uh, the 52 second timestamp. It's section 1, played the same way, no double star. Everything else is the same. Um, in place of that, where the double star is, go 2E to open E 2A, which is our E5 power chord again. Real simple, just go. And you'll hear in your tabs, I put VS, but I wrote volume swell, so you know what it is. These are cool. First person I heard do this for me as a player was probably Eddie Van Halen or Randy Rhodes. But turn your volume off, go to the fourth fret D and G, um, whatever finger. Um, I'm using my third, I'm barring it. I'm going to strum it. And then slowly raise that volume up so it comes at you. Now they make pedals that'll do that for you and there's studio tricks you can do. I'm old school. I like if you can do the sounds without the effects and manually do it, I'm just more about that. I love effects too, but you'll hear it in there. <coughs> uh, 103 timestamp is section 2 one time and then all that's left is section 3, a minute 15 in and it's just a... Um, it raises the key up, but the riff's kind of the same as uh, some, an earlier part. It's... Oops. So you'll, you'll go 5E, 7A, it's an A5 power chord, strum, slide to 7, 9, and then palm mute 7, 9 on the E, so it's... Bar the 7th fret D and G, take your thumb, do 7E, Third finger bar nine D and G. Vibrato if you can. So that's start it over. So you're repeating it, right? Do the seven E with the thumb. You get to the nine D G, no vibrato. But go seven D G. 7, 6, 7, 7. And the way I put the fingering on this, this is just how I liked it, was bar in the initial part. But if you want, you can go. But I'm coming off the bar concept. At the end of the day, Eric, it's not wrong. Just, you know, as long as it's, you can keep the beat in the rhythm and keep it in the pocket. Um, then back to the start, um, which would be... But this is a little different. After you do the um, 7 9 on the E palm mute, he goes 7 DG to 9 DG vibrato. So it sounds like this. Okay? And then finish it with this 5 7 EA, slide to 7 9. So when you get to 7 9, hit the root note two times. And then the power chord. So it's Open E to A. Don't worry about the ending. That's just me being me being me. All right, let me get this taken care of for you, Eric. And uh, good to have you back, back in the mix. Glad you're doing good too. So, um, we'll talk to you soon, buddy.